Hey YouTube, Heiko, reporting from the dungeon down in my garage, looking at another little product that I want to share my thoughts about. It's called Blue Driver. It says Bluetooth on it, some barcodes and Google Play and App Store information on it. What is it? Yeah, that is the question. All right, let me try to unwrap this here one-handed. You know, if I would know how to open this box, I'll show you what I have here. <laughs> I uh, maybe should have prepped this a little better, huh? What do you think? Um, nice little box. Come on, little box. Sesame open. There you go. Yeah, um, I keep bothering you guys with my little product introductions rather than giving you a full review I just tell you what I think um, which pretty much is a review right it's just gonna be short anyways what is this uh, sticker blue driver this is a OBD2 Bluetooth connectivity equipped sensor so this obd2 scanner you plug into your vehicle's obd2 port um, here in the united states i think it became standard in the early 90s in europe it was in the early 2000s so most modern vehicles have an obd2 port newer vehicles um, this thing then connects via bluetooth to your cell phone this thing costs about $99. I got it on sale uh, since we're in the Christmas season for $79. And then you just have to download either an app from the App Store if you have an iPhone or a app from the Android Play Store and download that. Uh, reason why I picked this up. Um, I already had one of those or still have it it's called an elm 27 which is also a bluetooth activated little scanning tool for your obd2 port on your vehicle to be able to read failure codes um, freeze frames to find out how long this uh, failure code has been in your co uh, vehicle's computer um, there are many of those out there. Many of them are much, much cheaper than this. This is a hundred bucks uh, MSRP. Uh, I think the first one that I bought, I bought through Groupon for like 17. There are some free apps on the Android store that you can use with those no name um, Bluetooth scanning tools, but the information that you get out of it is very limited. They give you the codes but not even the meaning of the code. So they just give you a failure code that you can read out and then you can go online and maybe find out what it means, what it does, what the failure is, why um, your, in, your, your car has the check engine light on. With this particular model, the Blue Driver has a very good reputation. The company that developed this thing has a huge database on uh, all kinds of vehicles. Here in the States is pretty much everything that you can buy. I mean, literally all the Japanese manufacturers, all the American manufacturers, um, you know, you, you would have to have some pretty exotic vehicle that it wouldn't be in uh, their database. And they keep updating this all the time. So even if you have a vehicle that's brand new, maybe not all the codes are yet in the database, they will update it and will give you a chance to fully utilize this thing. This also uh, reads out live data, so you can have um, voltages from sensors, certain temperatures from temperature sensors. It can give you your RPM, it can give you manifold pressures, it can give you fuel pressures. Of course, all dependent on what kind of sensors are installed in your vehicle, but this thing can literally read all of those sensors. It can only read, it cannot activate, like for example, really fancy test equipment that they have at dealerships that costs upwards of ten thousand dollars they can activate relays they can 
activate the fuel pump. They can do all kinds of diagnosis through um, activating functions in your car's electronic system. This cannot do that. It can only read. But this thing is so well supported by the company that developed this. The company is, um, where is it written? Um, product of Route 4. Um, and then the company that actually sells this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, Lemur Wireless Vehicle Monitors. Yeah, they, they support this thing so well that this is the only cheaper, or let's say inexpensive Bluetooth activated scanning tool for the OBD2 port that can give you ABS codes, it can give you airbag codes, all those other cheap ones. Yeah, let's swing over to my messy toolbox. Um, oh, actually it's at the bottom. The very bottom is my vehicle test equipment. Oh, it's not even in here. Uh, sorry, yeah, guys, that's that's a little mess up here on my my part. I do have a cheap um, twenty dollar scanning tool from Harbor Freight. You know, it reads failure codes, mostly, you know, the generic stuff. Um, not ABS. It doesn't read uh, airbag codes, but this thing does. So if you're thinking of buying one, don't spend $20, don't spend $30, save your money, save a couple weeks or months and then buy this thing. This has gotten so many good reviews on Amazon, on YouTube, by other reviewers, by users. Um, this is really, really close to scanning equipment that uh, you know your shop would have where you bring your car for your oil change. It's not... Uh, as good as the test equipment that the actual dealership has where they can do all those test functions and whatnot but this is a very good scanning tool that in in you know in the normal form with a cable and a plug and uh you know like a display unit unit uh would cost a few hundred dollars uh, maybe even upwards of a thousand this thing will give you all of this in form of a application on your cell phone here let me see if I can huh, that's just perfect that my cell phone is about to die but anyways four percent four percent remaining let's just show you there's blue driver um, it will of course try to connect so I cannot really show you the functionality um, you know not going through all that uh, to just show you that product. I'm just saying I've had cheap uh, OBD2 scanner from Harbor Freight. I've had another Bluetooth activated thing with a generic application and then I finally spent the money and bought a real one. $99 free app. You will not pay any any more than your purchase price. There are no fees involved with this application and they will update, keep it going, and I really like it so far. It gives you live data. Like I say, you can even create a little dashboard on this application where you have a couple dials. You know, let's say you have a vehicle that doesn't have a tachometer. You can display a tachometer and see your course um, RPM. I am really impressed so far. I haven't had any hitches, glitches. I've done some scanning on my vehicles. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of information to pull out of this thing. Uh, the user interface on the application, you will find out. It's pretty good. And uh, like I said, there are so many good reviews out there for this piece. I like it, and uh, I hope you like it too. Hope you like those short review videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.